The other day, the other day, one of my clients asked me, she was very concerned because she's been eating well and she's trying to lose weight, she's working out, she's at the gym, you know, three to five times per week and she works hard when she's in there, but she's not losing any weight. Um, you know, so I asked her a bunch of questions. You know, have you been doing this? Have you been doing that? Uh, you know, what do you eat? And I asked her for her food log and she didn't have her food log. And I said, well, have you been logging your food every day? And she says, well, you know, I log it like maybe every other day, which means she really logged it like probably twice that week before. And she'd be lucky if she logged it two times a week. So the biggest thing that you can do if you're trying to lose weight, and this is the first thing that you should do, start writing down or logging all of your foods. Use my fitness pal. I think Spark has a food app. There's, there's a lot of different food logging apps on the market. Or if you have the time and you're not a computer person, then just get a pen and a notebook of paper and write down everything that you eat. The benefit with MyFitnessPal and a lot of the other apps is it will do the work for you. It's gonna calculate your protein, your carbs, your fats, how many calories you're eating. So you don't have to do the work. So if you can, use an app like MyFitnessPal but don't follow the guidelines that it sets out for you because they're based on you know, eating whole grains and eating way too many carbohydrates if your goals are for weight loss. So that's my number one tip to you if you're looking to lose weight. Before you do anything else, before you try any diet or cleanse or all those stupid isogenics and uh, you know, all those other things that are out there, scrap them, go back to write down or log the foods that you're eating every single day and take it a step further. Don't wait until the end of the day to log your foods and don't log them as you go along because when you get to the end of the day, if you went over your calories or you're 50 grams or 60 grams short of your protein, you're screwed. There's nothing you can do if it's nine o'clock at night. It is what it is. So log your foods in the morning, everything that you're gonna eat so you're planning it out or log them all the night before. That way you have a map of what you're gonna be doing that next day, and you know that as long as you eat those foods, you're gonna hit your protein numbers, you're gonna hit your fat numbers, you're gonna hit your carbohydrate numbers, and you're gonna be within your calorie range. So start logging your foods. I guarantee in a week to two weeks, you do start to experience some significant change, either clothes fitting more loosely or the scale's moving or both of those things will start happening for you. So log your foods, start it now.